Good evening, everyone. It's Pipe Hooligan, and we're doing another home blending video. Uh, tonight's a very special night because Tim at Papa Bear's Pipes had asked me to press a set of Beaumont Supreme for him, so I thought I'd show the video of it coming out, talk a little bit about the, uh, the pressing process, and, and talk to those of you that want to try home blending at home to, to kind of dispel some of the myths about home blending and, and help if anybody wants to try help them out with blending. So uh, Beaumont Supreme is a Balkan blend. Um, it has a little bit of Orientals in it. It has a uh, little bit of Perique. It's a very um, mellow, mild, and of course, gotta get the gripper because you can't grip anything. And of course, for my protection, I'm uh, wearing rubber gloves today. So here is the first sample pressing coming out of Beaumont Supreme. Um, you can tell this is a nice, hard, firm cake. Rock solid, looks a great. But again, it's, it's a Balkan blend, so it's Balkan heavy. A little bit of Orientals, a little bit of Perique. Um, um, and, and just a touch of Cavendish. It's just a, a great smoking blend. And Tim really wanted to see how it was pressed. So we've, we've made him a batch up and we'll see how it goes. Now, for those of you that like to blend at home or thinking about trying, don't, don't be afraid. There's nothing that I'm using that you can't buy readily right now. I mean, some of the things that I get uh, are only available in whole leaf, some of the Orientals that I use, uh, but almost everything else is available commercially. You can order it from C&D, you can order it from Four Noggins, you can order it from Pipes and Cigars. There's a multitude of outlets that you can buy tobacco from and try home blending at home. You know, take a look at your favorite tobacco, look at the ingredients list. Now, when you look at the ingredients list, realize that when you see if Latakia is first, then that's the prominent tobacco in the blend. Now, uh, the, the rules for uh, tobacco, they won't give you the math, but at least they'll tell you what the prominent flavors are. So here's the second puck of Beaumont Supreme coming out again. Looks great. Um, wonderful, wonderful tin note for those of you that like Latakia. Those of you who don't like Latakia, I, I don't recommend this blend at all uh, because it is Latakia forward. Um, but again, all of the things that, that, that I use in blending are readily available commercially. Um, it, and just start simply. Take your favorite blend, take a look at what's in it, and say, okay, I, I like this, I like this. You know, buy samples of some things and smoke them and say, okay, this was really good, this was really good, I didn't like this uh, by itself. But start to understand how the flavors marry together. You know, one of the big surprises for me was how well Dark Burley and Perique go together. And I, I very much like their combination together, and I, I've done a couple of blends with them, and I'm very happy with how they turn out. Uh, one of the things that I'm also working on uh, in uh, blending right now is I've got two new Navy blends out, uh, Colvin Navy and Connemara Navy, which are basically, it's, it's a Connemara, sprayed some rum on it, pressed it, and Colvin is an all Virginia blend um, that's just... Um, that's just a straight Virginia blend. There's uh, five different Virginias in it. Uh, put some rum on it, pressed it. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, flavor profile to it. I really like it. I like Navy blends because I do. Uh, it's one of the few casings that that I can stomach. You know, a lot of the times I, I struggle with casings just because it's not, you know, depending on what they are. Uh, for some reason, the liquor and the wine casings don't bother as much as some of the other things. But, you know, we're, we're just trudging through and, and you can try home blending at home. And then when you're working on a blend, look at the math. Um, you know, when you're talking about a Balkan blend, you want at least 35 to 40% as a minimum uh, of, of Latakia. And then add other ingredients as you think they'll, they'll see fit. One of, the things, one of the blends that I really like is Ardfinan. 
Um, it, it's not a Balkan blend, but I like how Latakia and Dark Fried Kentucky go together. They, they produce a very nice combination. Um, and, and I would, you know, play with it to your heart's content and, you know, figure out the math and make two ounce blends at a time. Um, you know, you, you don't want to make a pound of anything and then find out it's terrible. So make two ounces at a time, figure out the math. Once you get two ounces, then it's easier to, you know, just multiply everything by eight. And now you've got 16 ounces. You can make a pound of it at a time. Another fantastic looking puck. Uh, and just so that we can see um, as we're going through this, uh, what the puck weighs. Uh, again, I try to make um, the pucks a little bit heavy simply because of periodic sticks. And as you've seen in a couple of them that I've taken apart so far, we do have some some sticking. I, I don't include those in the in the tins going to Tim, but you know there, there's a waste factor involved. Let's see. Can you guys see? You probably can't see the measurement. I can't hold it up, so let's take a look. So each puck of Beaumont Supreme, so this one weighs 2.2 ounces. So a nice little puck. And again, when you're pressing, so I'm, I press 2.2 you know, .2 ounces, and it fits very comfortably into a little 4-ounce jar. But back to blending at home, and just try. You know, don't be afraid. The first couple you make are probably not going to be ones that you hang on to forever. But that doesn't mean you should quit or give up or, or not do it anymore because this is how all the blenders got started. Everybody started at some point, And for me, it was my anger at Mac Baron. You know, they discontinued Acadian Perique, which was my uh, one of my favorite tobaccos. And I thought, well, I can make a vapor. And I looked at the ingredients list and uh, yeah, I discovered that, yeah, I can make a vapor, but it tastes nothing like Acadian Perique. So it, it just became a vapor, you know, and Connemara is one of the first blends that I made, and, you know, there were four incarnations of it before I thought I got it right. So, you know, you, you make two ounces of it, it's it's not a tremendous waste, and you get to where you want it to be, and the next thing you know, you're blending. It's not like anybody, you know, went to school to be a blender. Everybody had to learn their own way. You know, there's not a college that you can go to. You know, you can get a certificate in it from the, the folks that put out uh, the hand, the tobacco handbook, uh, but that's really not real world experience. So if you want to do this, try it at home. It's not, you know, terribly expensive. It's not horrible to do. Um, and just try. Um, I, I, I applaud people that, that do home blending, you know, Killer Briars is out there, Cloud Bears out there. Um, you know, even Corey at ABBS does a little home blending. Uh, Eric at Custom Cobbs does a little bit of home blending. You know, and, and they, they may not be available, but they're they're trying and they work on different things. And, you know, Cloud Bear comes up with some really interesting stuff. I have some of his uh, Old English Morning, uh, which is a, a, an excellent blend that I really like. Um, and thought it was excellent. Um, so here we go. We're going to pop this puck out. And this one, you can see it had a little shred where it stuck to the, the top of the lid. And that happens. You, know, you can't get away from it. Right, let's pop it off. And do I still have my scale up anywhere? I do. Pop it on the scale. This one was 2.15. So everything is a little over 2 on the puck just because these kind of things happen. And there we go. Uh, if you haven't been to Papa Bear's Pipes, I highly recommend that you do so. I have seven of them, and I'll show you a couple of them. This is a Danish egg uh, that I got from Tim. Fantastic smoker, looks great. Absolutely love this pipe. Uh, this is a commission that Tim did for me. It's a bent brandy, uh, just a, another wonderful smoker. Um, Tim and I were talking one afternoon, and for those of you that don't know, full disclosure, I, I, I do uh, help with Tim's website, and it's www.pbhbp.com, or you can just type in Papa Bear's Pipes and it'll come in. And I was talking to Tim one night and I said, you know what I'd really like to have is a poker rusticated on the bottom, a smooth rim and almost, you know, the, the double stripe at the top. And four days later, this showed up at my house and it's a fantastic smoker. In fact, I just took it to the park uh, for my afternoon dog walk. So Fantastic pipe, a little calabash that is my Monday morning dog walk. I am a creature of habit, dog walk in the morning, bowl on the pipe to work, bowl on the way home from work, take the dog to the park every afternoon, 
and have a pipe for that. And this is my Monday morning dog walk pipe. Had it earlier this morning, just a great pipe. And then another commission that Tim made me, this this fantastic straight Dublin. Great look, great bowl, uh, red Cumberland stem, just fantastic work. So if you haven't seen Tim's work, go, go see it. And, and Tim will have uh, these tobaccos in a couple of days because I'm sending them off this samples and some other things. And that's where we're at for this fine Monday evening. Again, don't be afraid to try blending at home. It, it's not rocket science. It's not difficult. It's a little math. Pick tobaccos that you like the, the tin note of and combine them up and see what you get. And, and this is the way all of us got started. Um, you know, don't be afraid of it. And if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate. I'm happy to help anybody that's out there that wants to do this. Um, if you'd like to email me, again, email me at Emerson Southern 4 or Emerson Southern at Yahoo.com. You want to message me, it's Emerson underscore Southern underscore Forged on Instagram. Or you can uh, connect with me at Pipe Hooligan on Instagram. Uh, I Obviously, we're, we're watching this on, on two channels now. I'm on YouTube and Rumble. Uh, but you can put something in the comments. If, if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And thank you all for joining me for the evening. Have a wonderful night.